Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this animation that you see in front of you. Um, so let's just go ahead and see what it looks like. So this is the animation, the objects floating out, and then this whole application building itself. So some items coming in, so on and so forth, and then the sidebar coming in on the right hand side as well, and then the objects coming in all together. We can see it one more time. And again, all of this was done on Protopy. I, I guess like it took a bit more time than I initially expected, but it is what it is. So do watch the video, do subscribe if you want, and do comment if you have any questions. So let's just get started. Hey guys, so the first thing that you need to do is you need to obviously go to your design, which is the design that I have in front of me, and then you need to export it to Protopy. So I'm gonna open the Protopy, sorry. I'm actually going to open the Protopy plugin, Protopy, and we're going to go ahead and export this design. Now this may take some time, so I'm going to skip the video until it's completely done. So now that it's done, we can have a look at, we can go into our Protopy and see how it looks. Well, it doesn't look all that good because one problem that we have is by default, the size that the proto the size that protopy generates for the canvas is actually much smaller than the actual design so we're going to go to our sizes we're going to choose a custom size and we're going to choose the size of the frame that we've just exported we're going to choose just one density and here we have our design so let's just go ahead and animate a few things right off the bat well first of all i would just want to go and create a trigger and that trigger is just going to be on the start so on the start of the animation you want to do a few things so the first so the couple of few things that i want to do is by default we can go ahead and we can move these objects on top so i can say that at the start of the animation this object is basically going to move from its y position to let's say minus 500 and we can also go ahead and we can preview it right um, on the on the left hand side and I'm just going to go ahead open the preview and actually first of all let's say just resize this so we can see the preview uh, and we can just see what's going on so here we have our preview here we have our design I'm just going to reduce the size of this and let's just go ahead and actually see what the preview looks like. Let's just reduce this in, in size a bit more, refresh it, and as you can see, this object is going towards the top. I want to change this duration to 0.5, and let's just see how that looks. That's still a bit fast in my opinion. Let's just change that to 1, and I think that's much better. So I'm going to do the same for this particular shape, which is the i don't know what what this shape is like i haven't my wife hasn't named these things properly but let's just go ahead and actually add that in we were going to say that this should this particular object should also move it should also move for in about like one second and it should also move on top so i'm just going to go ahead and say 500 here as well so as we can see these two objects are moving and we can go ahead and we can say that first this object should move then this and then some of the other ones so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to this object and I'm going to say this object should move down. Let's just go ahead and actually create a move trigger. Have the object selected and create a move trigger again. Have it one second and let's just again go to the Y position and basically say the current position plus, I don't know, 400 and that's fine. So now that we have that, let's just see how that looks. Refresh. So we have these objects going out, right? <clears throat> Let's do the same for this object. And I think since these are the only objects that are sitting in front, I think this should be sufficient. Let's just change the duration to one. Again, move it outside, let's say 1200. So here we have it. The objects are moving out. So one other thing I would like to do, well, first of all, I'm just gonna reduce the delay a bit. So they move a bit faster. So here we have it. So now what we're gonna do in this design is for starters, we're just gonna see that this side or this dashboard is actually gonna reduce in width like this. First of all, it's gonna reduce like this and then it's gonna be centered. So I'm just gonna go ahead and center it. So command option C to center. And 
I'm just going to record this uh, these x and width position. So the x position is 652, the y position, or sorry, the x position is 654 and the size is 292. So let's just go ahead and do that. I'm going to say that on the start, we want to scale this and the scale is going to be 292, I think. And we're also going to move it. This thing should also move to, the, to an x position of 654. So let's see how that looks. So as we can see, that looks fine. Obviously, it's quite fast and we don't want that. So let's just go ahead and change that to one. And one here as well. So I think this looks fine, but I think the objects at the back don't really look that good. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to hide these objects by default. So now that these objects are hidden, we're going to go ahead and see what the animation looks like. So this is fine. What we, what we also want to do after this has happened is basically say that we also want the sidebar to collapse in height. So I'm just going to go and add another scale thing. And I'm going to say that the scale for this thing is going to be, let's just make this one second. And the height is going to be, let's say, zero. So as you can see here, we have the sidebar, first of all, reducing in width and then reducing in height. And we can go ahead and we can say that this is going to happen after one second. So like this. So I think this looks good. And this basically is our starting point. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to duplicate this design. I'm going to duplicate the screen. I'm going to say duplicate. And now that we have this other screen, we're going to say, and we're going to remove all of these things. Let's just go ahead and remove all of these things. Let's go to our initial design and say that we want to jump to the, to, to our second design, which is design two. And you want to jump to it and you want to jump to it after, let's say 1.5 seconds or maybe even two seconds. Let's just do that. <clears throat> so now that we have jumped to this design, let's just go ahead and actually reduce the, like just place them on top and reduce their opacities. So I'm just going to press zero, zero twice to reduce this, go up zero, zero twice to reduce this here, zero, zero, and then here, zero, zero. And I'm going to do the same with the shapes that are sitting behind this one and this one. I'm going to increase their opacity. I'm just going to move them out so I can see them. So here we have this shape. I'm just going to go ahead and drag it out, reduce the opacity. And the same goes with this shape out and reduce the opacity. So here we have our design. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say, well, let's just go ahead and delete this image that was there. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say that this is going to be like this, which is 292. This is fine. Center it. <clears throat> and then reduce the height. So now that I have the height reduced, one other thing I would like to do is I would like to move vertically also center it. So I'm just gonna command, op, uh, command control M to vertically center it. And now here, what I wanna say is, I wanna go ahead and scale this thing. So I'm gonna scale it again. We're gonna scale the dashboard. So we're, here's the dashboard and I'm gonna scale it. The width is gonna be 292 and the height is going to be, let's say, what's the actual height of the design? Let's just go to our design in Figma since it's faster. The height is 947. So let's just make it 947. Well, it was 947.2, but let's just go with a rounded example. So go to our design and we have an animation going on here. We're scaling this and let's just go ahead and change that to one. So in one second, it's basically going to go ahead and do that. One other thing we obviously want to do is we want to move it and we want to say that its X position is going to be 60 and its Y position is going to be 132. Well, right now we just want to make its position 132 from the top. So we're going to say that it's also going to move to the top like this. So here we have our second page and it's moving like this. One other thing we can actually do here is we can say that these elements that are inside of it, inside of the dashboard, let's just go to our dashboard. Here we have our sidebar and here we have some of our items. So I'm gonna say these are the top items. These are the bottom items and this one is the user. So I can also say that these things are gonna in 
come in opacity or they're just going to come a bit upwards and just just do that stuff so let's just go ahead and actually just change the opacity for now and say that this opacity by default for this user is going to be zero and this opacity is going to let's say go from zero to hundred now let's go and select our our user and reduce the opacity which is here to zero and let's just see how that looks we also want to do that after a while so as you can see this thing is happening after a while this comes into view we can also go ahead and say that this is going to take like 0.5 seconds so as you can see we have this coming in one other thing that we can do is we can see what the x position of or the y position of this object is the y position of this object is 861 so we want to save that and we want to say that by default this is going to be 900 and when we basically go ahead and animate this thing this is going to move from 900 to 861 or maybe we can just say 860 right and let's just say the delay is going to be 1 and the transition is going to be 0.5 so it's going to again appear like this which i think looks really good now we want to do the same well maybe not 860 just slightly a bit to the bottom maybe 870 is fine so like this and now we want to do the same thing for some of the other items as well but one important thing to note here is we want to do uh, let's just go ahead and actually make the delay here the same and let's do it for some of the other items here so we have our sidebar we have our top items let's just go ahead and actually do it for well maybe we also want to do it for the welcome thing right so let's just go and see just as, let's just make this welcome and say that <clears throat> the x the y position currently is 30.52 which can be 30 we're going to say that we're just going to increase it by twice we're going to say this is going to be 60 the opacity is going to be zero we're going to go ahead and duplicate both of these things we're going to say that this opacity is going to go to 100 but instead of let's say the user we're basically again targeting uh, just let's just search for welcome so we're, we're targeting the welcome frame we want to change its opacity to 100 which is perfectly fine and even here we want to target the welcome frame uh, or the welcome drop and its y position should be 30. so now as we can see it's appearing perfectly fine and we want to do basically just go ahead and duplicate both of these things and do the same thing for the top items so i'm going to select the top items here top items and let's see what the top item position is by default the y position is 165.57 which we can just say it's 166 but let's just go ahead and increase it by 60 and now let's go ahead to our move and say that this is going to be 166 and let's see how that looks so it looks fine one thing that we obviously want to change on the top items is we want to reduce the opacity so again we have this fading in effect one other thing we want to do here is we have these admin tools that are sitting separately we want to move these into our top items group because i want this animated together with that and as we can see i don't see it because the group well let's just go ahead and actually increase the opacity so we can see it so here we have i'm just going to go ahead and move it here increase the opacity let's just go ahead and actually bring it somewhere we can see it so as you can see the admin tools isn't really sitting inside of this group so let's just go ahead and actually let's just go ahead and actually have the admin control sitting inside there so we are going to go ahead and if we just scale it like this we still don't see the admin tools so now i think i think this looks pretty good we have the welcome thing but obviously we need to add delays now right so the first thing that we want uh we want to appear is the welcome the second thing we want is this one so let's go ahead and increase this delay here to 1.5 so we have the welcome thing we have the bottom items and sorry the top items and then let's just go ahead and change this to two so here we have the welcome this and then this but actually this shouldn't be two this should be actually 2.5 because we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for the bottom items so i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to duplicate <clears throat> these two or whatever two controls we can 
choose whichever, whichever one we want to. So here we have our welcome item selected. I'm going to say these are going to be for the top item now, sorry, the bottom items now. So we're going to do both select both of those things for the bottom items. Let's see what the bottom items original Y position is at 633. Let's just make it 633 plus 60. Now let's go ahead in our move part and change that to 633. And let's see how that looks. So we have the bottom items coming in and that looks perfectly fine. We just need to increase the delay to 2.5. I think that looks fine. We just need to go ahead and reduce the opacity of the bottom items. We have the welcome coming in, we have this coming in, and then we have this coming in. One other thing is I don't see the opacity. Where did the opacity go? So I, I forgot to move the opacity, so I'm just gonna do that right now, so 2.5. So we have the welcome coming in, we have the dashboard coming in, we have the bottom items coming in, and then we have some of the other items coming in. Well, then the opacity for this should not be 2.5, it should be 2. So now let's see. Welcome, this, this, and that. I think this looks pretty good. One other thing that we want to do is we want to probably include this, these admin tools in the... in the actual uh, top items, right? So we have this admin tools and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drag this admin tools inside here. Let's just see what the spacing here is above the admin tools in the actual design. So here we have our design and here we have our admin tools. The spacing is 36, so let's just go ahead and make it minus 36. So welcome, this, this, and that. So we have our first sidebar item done and what we want to do here is we can go ahead and actually duplicate this this whole thing right we can go ahead and create a separate design and we can say basically just let's just go ahead and actually duplicate this if you want to keep it again consistent preserved if you want to just have a look at what's going on and stuff along those lines instead of duplicating yeah i think we have this duplicated let's go to our dashboard let's make the height uh, what was the height? Let's just go ahead and verify it. The height was 947 and the Y position was 132. So I'm going to go to my dashboard and say the height is going to be this and this is going to be 142. So we, we have basically most of these things. We're going to go to our sidebar and increase the opacity of all of these items. Let's just go ahead and actually zero 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 and then this is going to be zero and the welcome is also going to be zero now we just need to go ahead and minus that so minus 30 and similarly here minus 30 and then here on the bottom items minus 30 and then here on the welcome we also want to do the minus 30 minus 30 sorry not on the welcome sorry on the actual this user stuff so minus 30 let's just verify if we have the positions right so on the move stuff and let's just go on from the top eight this is 870 and 870 30 633 and then 166 okay So we have 160, but actually we don't need to do it like this. What we need to do is we need to just go ahead and preserve that. So it's 166, the top positions would be, top items would be 166. Let's just make them 166. Uh, the bottom items would be 633. Let's just make them 633. The bottom items, 633. This user would be, 861 let's go to our user and then say 861 and i think that's pretty much it so let's just go ahead and say that after um, a particular delay you want to jump to design three and let's just go to our design three and after a delay of let's say three seconds so we have these things coming in these things coming in and then there is a slight jump which is what we have to figure out let's just go ahead and restart it Hmm. 
so we have a jump coming in and let's just go ahead and actually first of all go ahead and remove all of these items so again try it out actually go to our design two and then try it out sidebar coming in this 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 and then i think the whole dashboard is jumping so let's just go ahead and see what the dashboard so it's 132 here let's go to our dashboard here this is 142 and that's the mistake right so let's just go ahead and try it now let's go to our design two and see it animating in so we have the sidebar animating in this particular user is changing its position so let's just go and select our user so this is the move position of the user it's 870 here we just want to be consistent there as well let's just go to our user and this should be 870 instead of 861 so now if we go ahead and refresh our design too everything should be consistent so yeah it's consistent now to our onto our design three we want to create basically we want to have everything up else that we had here up here so i'm just going to go ahead well first of all we can go ahead and let's make sure that the middle content appears so this is one zero five one and the centered position would be 274 1051 and 274 so let's just go ahead and do that right away 1051 and 274 so the x position is going to be 274 and the the scale is going to be 1051 1051 so let's just see how that looks so this is again our center panel animating and we're going to go ahead and we're going to say that both of these animations is going to be for one second so that looks good but now we also want to go ahead and animate a bunch of these things right so let's go to our uh, our activity stuff so let's just go ahead and see what this is called here so this is the activity card and let's just go ahead and lock this so we don't select it so this is our activity card this is the activity text we ideally want to animate we can if we want we want we can animate these together or we can just say just go to these i'm just going to go to the activity text first and say that this is going to be opacity zero by default this is this position is going to be 42 by default let's just go ahead and increase it by 60 as we've done previously so 60 now let's go and say that this is going to move and this is going to move to its x position sorry it's y position 102 minus 60 and similarly here we're going to change the opacity to 100 so now that we have that done let's go ahead and change that to 0.5 and change the delay to one seconds so as we can see that the y position is not changing because obviously we did not move that we did not select both of them while doing this so we have the activity coming in and that's perfectly fine let's just go ahead and duplicate these again say that the delay here is now going to be 1.5 the activity text is not going to be selected activity card is going to be selected now and this is going to come in again it's going a bit on top so let's just go ahead and select our activity card here the y position is going to be let's say 138 plus 60. so it's going to be 138 plus 60 let's go to our move example here and say this is not going to be 42 this is going to be 198 minus by 60. So as we can see this is coming in this is perfectly fine the activity card however needs to be reduced in opacity so we have this thing and we have that thing coming in so this whole thing this thing uh, and let's go ahead and do the same thing for the bottom cards we're going to say that this again is going to be increased in a delay for two and now we want to select the earnings item so this is the earning card let's go ahead and select the earning card so we have two earning cards not this one uh, earning this one right because it's only selecting this so now let's just go ahead and say that it's well in this case it's perfectly fine because the uh, because since it's in a group it's x position by oh, sorry it's y position by default is zero so we can go ahead and we can say that the y position is going to be zero here and go to our earning card and say that the opacity is going to be zero and the y position is going to be 60. so now let's see how that looks we have this thing coming in and then we have the earning by items and let's go ahead and do pretty much the same thing for the other box which is the earning stats so i'm going to say this is going to be the earning 
stats here and we're going to go ahead and change the <clears throat> delay to 2.5 and we're going to go to the move thing we're going to say this is going to be zero this is perfectly fine and this is going to be yeah, that's all of that's perfectly fine we're going to go ahead and say, say that this is going to be 60 by default and the opacity is going to be less so let's go ahead and expand this and see how this looks So I think it looks good though we can also go ahead and change the animation a bit right we can say that this is going to be cubic busier so let's go ahead and see how that looks so I think this looks um, this looks much better we can also go ahead and say that it's just, just going to be ease in I don't like the ease in personally we can say cubic busier or we can say ease in and ease out and we can change uh, this to some of the other effects Quint is a bit more powerful. We can also go ahead and say, just try a few things out, right? Expo. This is also very powerful. So I'm gonna say cubic bezier. Like personally, that's I think that's fine. So it's a bit more smoother. And I like that. So let's just go ahead and keep it at that. Let's go to our design two and change uh, everything to cubic bezier as well, because we just want to be consistent here. So cubic bezier here as well. And then we have this coming in, then we have this coming in, and this coming in. And now let's go, instead, let's go to our first design and see how this whole thing looks. So we have these things animating out. This is again reducing in size. We have this coming in, then this. And I think this looks pretty good, right? So let's just go ahead and actually, we can now go ahead and duplicate the whole design as well, or we can just continue with this design frame and just say, since we don't have a lot of items left now, let's just say, Let's just go ahead and command Z everything. Let's just say that this whole thing now is going to be on the left 60. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to basically duplicate this move thing here that we have here. Duplicate it and basically again say that this, go, this is going to happen after 2.5 seconds. 2.5 or maybe it's going to happen after 3 seconds. So it, it can happen after 3 seconds. The move is going to be now positioned to I think 80, right? Yeah no 60 so the x position is going to be 60 here and the scale now is going to be 1480 so let's just go ahead and make this 1480 and see everything scaling in completely so we have these items coming in then we have this expanding and this is exactly what we want now we just want to have these three items coming in a bit like we have some of the other items coming in so let's just go ahead and actually log this well Let's go and see what the name of this group is. This is the header item. And I think the header item, the name of the header item isn't really that good, but let's just go ahead and still select it, right? Still go ahead and select the header item. So this thing, since it starts from three and the duration is one, we wanna start the delay after, let's say, four seconds. So I'm gonna select these move these both those things and say that the delay is going to be four seconds so we see it here and we're going to say that this is going to be our header item so now that i have my header item selected it's going to appear as here as well so this is going to be our search container so let's just name that search container and we're going to reduce the opacity here on the search container we're going to say that by default the position is going to be 39 plus 60. so let's just go ahead and do that on our move tool we're going to say this is going to be not zero this is going to be 99 minus 60 which is going to be 39 so as you can see we have this stuff coming in then we have this and then we have the search bar coming in which looks fine so now we want to do the same thing with our monthly earnings container which i think is this one so this is the monthly earnings this is the group so let's just go ahead and for simplicity's sake simplicity's sake let's just go ahead and actually move this group to inside of this monthly earnings and let's just go ahead and make this spacing minus 32 so let's see how that looks obviously nothing has changed i've just moved things inside so it should still be there which is which it isn't so let's just go into our design again so we have this monthly earnings currently it's clipping the sub layers which is something we don't want so i'm just going to go ahead and remove that so now we have the earnings this month and i think this group is not appearing fine let's just go ahead and make this 80 and see how that looks minus 80 i think minus 80 is fine 
So now let's go to our monthly earnings. Let's just go ahead and actually duplicate both of these things. I'm just going to go ahead, duplicate both of these things. The delay here is going to be 4.5. And we're going to say this is going to be our monthly earnings group, monthly earnings group. And let's select this opacity by default, as we all know, is going to be zero. This is going to be 195 plus 60. Since we're just moving it 60 down, and again, I keep on saying it again and again. Similarly, let's go to the move tool here and say this is going to be 255 minus 60. So let's see how that looks. So I think this looks good. Now for the affiliate impressions, let's just go ahead and do pretty much the same thing that we've done here. Let's just go ahead and see if these things, let's lock this so we can access these other items. So unfortunately this is separate and this is separate as well so let's just we basically need to move these things together so we have the affiliate impressions let's just go ahead and actually bring this whole thing into a group right this is going to be our affiliate container so now that we have our affiliate container everything should be fine we haven't changed really changed anything okay so one thing these dots need to be inside right that is something that i forgot to do so where do we have these dots this is the slider i think this is basically these dots are called the slider i'm going to say these are going to be go into the monthly earnings thing so the sliders are going to go here and let's see how that looks because once you actually group things inside some of the items sometimes things get misplaced so we just need to go ahead and manually organize them so let's just go ahead and if we make them 320 how that how does that look i think this should probably be 350 this should probably be fine yeah this i think is better so now let's go to our uh let's just basically go ahead and duplicate both of these properties duplicated them five seconds and now instead of that it's going to be our affiliate container let's select the affiliate container now the y position should obviously be whatever it is currently plus 60 so let's 618 plus 60 and the opacity should be zero similarly we're going to go to our move item and the y position is going to be 678 minus 60. so let's just see how that looks so we have these items coming in this thing coming in this thing coming in and then the affiliate impressions coming in so i think this overall looks pretty good we can go ahead and we can make some advanced animations by changing the graphs as well and if you want to change the graphs, we can actually go ahead and do that in a completely new design, right? We can go ahead, we can go to this design and we can say, well, one thing that we can do is, for now, let's just keep it simple. But one thing we want to do is we want to move the items back to their current position. So let's go and do that. So by default, let's say I want to move something and then I also want to change the opacity, which is something that we're going to do again. I'm going to select both of these items and duplicate them basically say that this is going to be 5.5 and we're going to select the first shape that we moved and we're going to select this one what's the name of this shape well actually i have locked it so i'm going to unlock things so this is cylinder x3 or whatever it is so let's just go ahead and change that to cylinder x3 and we're going to say that this is basically going to move to its original position let's just check what the original position is so this is our cylinder the original y position is 144.8 let's go to our design 3 again this is going to be 144 point whatever and the opacity is going to be zero sorry 100 so the opacity is 100 this looks fine this shape comes in and that's good so now let's go, go do the same thing about this particular shape. What's the opacity of, what's the Y position? The Y position is 92.8. So go to our other design. Basically then go and duplicate these things as I've done. Change that to 6. Change that to Taurus or something, whatever it is. And then change the Y position here. So we're going to change this to 92.8. So now that we've done that, this should automatically appear because we've already increased the opacity. So this is there now. Let's just go ahead and do the same thing for maybe this cube. What is this? Cube super and then Taurus X3 again, which is 
some other shape. So let's go to our design three again, choose this thing, duplicate it, say this is gonna be 6.5, and then we are gonna have our cube. So this is the cube, and let's say this is gonna be 6.5. Now we have to figure out what the Y position on the original cube is. So the Y position here is 86.4.8, and let's just go ahead and make this cube position similar sorry this move position similar this is going to be 86.6 point 86 864.8 basically so we have this item coming in from the top this one this one and this one so this looks good now we want to do the same thing for the other cube duplicate it say this is going to be the delay is going to be seven and go to our design here select this item which is the Taurus X3 and say that the Y position is going to be 882.4. I'm basically just copying them and pasting them here. So move uh, and then again select the Taurus again, Taurus this one and say this is going to be the move point particularly is going to be this. So let's see how that looks. this 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 and this and then probably we can again increase just simply not really in a complicated manner just simply increase the opacity of these two items that are sitting behind for some reason i've hidden them here which i shouldn't have probably uh, let's go ahead well they can be hidden here but let's just go ahead here and say that we're going to have this this thing and then this thing but ideally both of these things this should actually be in their current position. We don't need to go ahead and change them. So let's just see what the current position here is. And then here, this is, the X position is 118. And here we have one. So let's just go ahead and change that. So the X position for this one is gonna be this. And the X position for this one is gonna be 118. So 118. So now that we have these two items, we just wanna say that after we're gonna again duplicate this, and we're gonna say after a delay of 7.5, we wanna go ahead and increase the opacity to 100 off the cube, super, whatever. And also let's just go ahead and duplicate this and say this is also gonna be done for the torus or something, I don't know. Cylinder, let's just go ahead and see what the name, sorry, it is cylinder, yes. So cylinder, and let's see how that looks. So actually from the beginning, let's just play it from the beginning, right? Because we wanna see what the whole design looks like. So we have these sliding out, then we have this thing from the bottom. And this is what the whole animation looks like. One thing that I think I should have done is when we're actually scaling this uh, on the first frame, I'm just gonna go ahead when we're scaling this, this should also move a bit to the bottom. And I'm gonna say that this should also move. Let's just go ahead and actually uh, say that the dashboard will move after let's say two seconds, similar to, no, sorry, 1.5, one seconds. Yeah, it's also gonna move to an X position of, what's the X position here? Let's just see what the X position of the dashboard by default is here. So the X position, sorry, the Y position is 600. Let's just go ahead and say that it's also gonna be 600 here. So Y position will be 600. So yep, I think this looks good. One thing I also wanna do is this jump thing should happen after a bit more delay, so maybe 2.5. So now let's see how this looks. Yep, I think this looks much better. We have this expanding, these things coming in, and then we have this thing coming in. So I think this looks pretty good. If you liked the video, do subscribe to hit the bell icon and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.